hello guys and welcome back now let's make this main menu functional for this let's create a script by the name of main menu open this up and in here remove the function and on this script we will be working with the scene management so make sure to add that object at the top Okay, right there and then we need a reference to our select character can okay, also we'll say public game object name this as select character and then create another public game object and name this as name menu after this we will type a code so when we play select the click on the option button then we want to show the select character menu okay so for that click on public void and right here we will create a function by the name of on select character we want to activate the select character and deactivate the main menu so we'll type select character dot set active to and we'll set that active to false main menu and then right here when the player clicks on the play button we want to play the game so for that we will say public void on play button and when the player play uh, clicks on the play button we want to open up the zombie land scene which is actually this one okay zombie land make sure that he that name you are seen as zombie land and if you want to name it something else then you can name it and then make sure that you type that name right here correctly okay so right here i will type a scene manager dot load scene and i want to load the zombie land scene so i will type that and after this let's create a public void which will be on quit button when the player clicks on the quit button we will simply quit the game so we can copy that code from the menu and add this inside the main menu okay our script is ready let's save this and now let's click on this menu let's attach the script first so in the scripts we have this main menu right here give the select character then the main menu and then in the menu we have these buttons so let's select all of them scroll down you can actually add an event like this okay and then drag and drop the main menu there and now let's select the on play button function here and right here we will select the on select character and then we will select the on quit button okay we have added all of that now make sure that you disable the select character or else it will be disabled when you play the game because that would be what we type in the script now as you can see we have these three buttons if we click on the play it will play the game First, let's click on options and as you can see it shows us that select character we can select between these three and now let's play the game again actually we will add a back button on the option screen but that is for the future now let's click on the play button and we know that the quit button will also work so let us leave that okay it says that zombie land couldn't be loaded because it has not been added to the build setting okay and i did this by the purpose so that you know that whenever you have different scenes then you will have to add all of the scenes in the build settings one by one okay so for example when we um, make this game ready okay when everything is ready and when some other user play the game then of course first we will show our main menu so for that in the scenes drag and drop the main menu our main menu will be at the top 
So whenever we play the game, our main menu will be first, first be shown. And after the main menu, we want this zombie land to be played, okay? And after this, we will add many more scenes, but that is for the future. Let's play the game now. And you will notice when we play on options, whoops, let me actually click on the play button. If you click on play, now you will notice it will play the zombie land scene, as you can see. So now we have a fully functional new menu and in the next video we will allow the player to select between different characters and also we will add different characters to our game as well. Okay, but firstly let's now click on the menus as you can see we have left comments for ourselves. Let me actually copy this code when we click on restart. And then on the restart we want to show the main menu scene which is this one okay main menu and also when the player clicks on the load menu we also want to show the main menu as well that's it now let's play the game again let's click on play okay the game is started Let's walk around, okay, now if we click on menu, we are redirected back right here and when we click on play, we will be redirected back again to the game, okay, as you can see, let's click on the menu again, click on options, and now in the next video, we will work on this, when we play, click on this, we will play that scene which contains this character, and when the player clicks on this, we will add this character and the same for this one as well. So with this done, catch you guys in the next one.